Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series on the channel and we are going back in time to a better time and a better place in the world where Man United were battling Arsenal for the title, where Man City didn't have loads of money, Chelsea were a nobody. It's going to be amazing, it's going to be brilliant and we are going to be managing Man United in 2003-2004. And oh my word, am I excited for this because look at this squad. Roy Carroll, who made the best save ever against Tottenham. I mean, the ball across the line and he still kept it out from being a goal. So what a goalkeeper he was. Fabian Bartes, Tim Howard, Wes Brown, Rio Ferdinand, John O'Shea, Gary Neville, Sylvester Neville, Cleberson. But Roy Keane still there. Eric Jemba Jemba, so good they named him twice. Quinton Fortune, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, Solskjaer, Ronaldo, Forlan, and my main man, Ruud van Nistelrooy. I mean, he's been done harshly with first touch nine. But uh, huge credit to Mad Scientist FM, I think, created this database and put it on FM Scout, I think. Apologies if I've got that wrong, but he has gone through from Champ Manager 0304 and transferred all the stats into FM22. Put a face pack with it as well, so it's incredible. So when you go into your tactics, everyone's got a face. Everyone's got a face. Some of them look really, really weird. Uh, if we dive into the youth team and go and have a look at who is it I was looking at before. Um, someone is in here and has basically a really old face and it looks very, very strange. Uh, Paul McShane, 17 years old, full beard. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Love it. There's a 15-year-old Ryan Shawcross knocking around here somewhere as well. He might even be in the under-18s. Uh, Tom Heaton, 17 years old, going slightly grey. Love to see it. Absolutely loves it. Johnny Evans, 15-year-old centre-back. Looks as, as young as he does today. But yes, I am so excited for this save. It's going to be absolutely incredible. There are some phenomenal names that aren't even household names at the moment. It is just... It's incredible. I mean, Darren Fletcher. Is it Luke Chadwick? 22 years old. Bald as they come. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, absolutely incredible this. Just a, a step back in time. A fun save where hopefully we win everything. But yeah, it's just good fun, right? It's just good fun. We have a fantastic team. Absolutely fantastic team. I mean, Fabien Bartes, 32 years old. In real life, this was the season he moved on loan to Marseille and then they bought him uh, They bought him on a permanent. But yeah, I mean, eccentricity, 20. Communication, 8. That is a terrible mix. But everything else looks pretty decent. Flair, 20 for a goalkeeper. Oh, mwah, love it. We probably are going to look to sell him though because we have Tim Howard, who for a 24-year-old was actually very good in the game. It's incredible, isn't it? I mean, I'm interested to see how it translates. Obviously, there wasn't VAR back in 0304. There will still be VAR in this and all of those uh, nice rules. I'm pretty sure they're all still the classic rules. But, yeah, I mean, it's really interesting to see how this is going to work. But I think Tim Howard will be our first choice goalkeeper. Right back, you cannot look past Gary the Red Neville. Unbelievable right back. Like uh, it does. I, I think he was a suit, one of the England's best ever right backs. Like absolutely superb. Really, really good. Um, can play centre back, right wing back, right back. Like look at all these attributes. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's weird to think I'm taller than Gary Neville. I didn't think I was. I thought he would be taller than five foot ten. But five foot ten he is. Twenty eight years old. Plenty of uh, plenty of life left in him yet yeah, left back we're probably looking at Mikel Silvestra who uh this is before his little Arsenal stint isn't it we we had him for a few seasons then he you know we flogged him off to Arsenal um yeah can't cross more of a center back at left back but again really good attributes we may look to to increase uh, our left back standing we've not got too many good options out there we've got Silvestra uh, Phil Neville can play out there as well although he's favored to play right back Again, Phil Neville could be a player we look to move on and, and change the course of history. But uh, John O'Shea, I guess, as a left back as well is a potential option. But I sort of see him more as a backup centre back for us. So I think left back is potentially an area we can improve. And then centre backs, obviously, we have the beast that is Rio Ferdinand, 24 years old, absolute monster at the back. Uh, do I try and bring in Nemanja Vidic early, earlier than United did in real life? Do we try and get that partnership going? Uh, who knows? Who knows? But an absolute beast, Rio Ferdinand, six foot two, 
absolute machine. Going to be amazing. Like, really, 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 really good. I don't know why I keep clicking on history. There is no history. It's a brand new database, Dave. But, uh, yeah, it, unbelievable stuff. Next to him at the back, probably out of the selection we've got at the moment, is Wes Brown, who, given his day, was a great centre-back option for Man United. But... He's definitely not going to be playing as a right back because he cannot cross the ball. He's got crossing one. Centre back though, he does have good sort of attributes that you need apart from strength, which is a little bit low. So potentially a centre back is an option for a transfer as well. Um, and that is pretty much all the defenders. I think we've looked at uh, looked at all of them there. Into the midfielders then, Cleberson, who uh, just won the World Cup when we, when we brought him in. A really good player to be fair. And... Yeah, I'm not too sure how much game time he's going to get. We've still got the likes of Nicky Butt and um, Roy Keane and people like that. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Cleberson. Uh, Nicky Butt, as we just mentioned, is still here. Determined, teamwork, work great, really aggressive, but uh, is susceptible to injuries and currently has an injury, which is a damaged kneecap. So he's going to be out for three to four weeks. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does. Nicky Butt, I mean, 28 years old, lots of life left in him yet. Are we going to sell him? Are we going to keep him? Yeah, who who knows what's going to happen that one. And then you get Roy Keane. Look at that green. Look at those 20s. Ignore the one in aggression. But bravery, composure, concentration, decisions, determination, leadership, positioning, teamwork, work rate, tackling, heading, all in the green, stamina and strength as well. He's going to be in our central midfield position. He is going to be absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to use him. Yeah, he's going to have a competitive streak. And yeah, he's going to be a bit susceptible to injuries as he gets older. But Roy Keane is in. And that's amazing. I love it. Eric Jemba Jemba. So good. They named him twice. Um, this was the year I think we bought him. And there's a player in there. There always was a player in there. He just didn't really cut the mustard in terms of getting it. Cannot shoot to save his life with finishing four. Uh, going to be nowhere near taking a corner. Can't really jump very high either. But... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does because the thing with this Man United squad is that the midfield all have incredibly good work rate and incredibly good teamwork. So they should all be like fighting for each other, which is good. Then you get, well, I guess, talking of central midfielders, let's look at Paul Scholes, one of my favourite players I've ever seen live. Absolutely incredible. Like, Lax, he's he's been, I feel like he's done a bit dirty here on fitness. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't the fittest, but he was never sort of, a halfway house between 0 and 20. I say 10's a bit low, but central midfield or attacking midfield, he's going to be pinging those passes. It's going to be lovely to watch. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see what Paul Scholes is like in FM 22. Right, left midfield, Quinton Fortune. Sort of a, a hard-working, lacked a bit of skill, lacked a bit of technical proficiency in terms of his uh, career at Man United. Now, did we, it's not going to be, oh, it is on here, yeah, we did sign him off Atletico Madrid, so, uh, and then I can't remember where he went after that, was it West Brom, Quinton Fortune, I think he went to West Brom, but yeah, he had a lot of pace, uh, some good technical ability for set pieces and crossing, but everything else was a little bit lacklustre, um, obviously, he's not going to get that much game time on left wing, because we've got Ryan Giggs, so... I mean, Ryan Giggs is phenomenal, right? Dribbling, 18. First touch, 18. Off the ball, 16. Technique, 18. Flair, 18. Teamwork, 16. Pace, 17. Acceleration, 17. Agility, 18. Balance, 17. This is like near enough prime Ryan Giggs. This is ridiculously good Ryan Giggs. 29 years old. A little bit susceptible to injuries again. But all in all, what a player Ryan Giggs was. Yeah, he's had a checkered, uh, checkered recent history, isn't he? But Ryan Giggs... Amazing. Left wing, cannot wait to see what he can do. Right wing is really interesting. This was this database is basically set up just as Man United have sold David Beckham to Real Madrid for 23 million. And we've just sold Seba Veron to Chelsea as well. So on the right, we clearly have Cristiano Ronaldo who can play out there. But he really isn't a final sort of figure Ronaldo. This is 18-year-old just bought in Cristiano Ronaldo. Like really really lacking in some attributes here but i'm hoping you know we can I, I don't know how long this save's gonna be i don't know if we're ever gonna see ronaldo get to peak or maybe we do a season and if we win everything then we'll holiday it and see what fm does in terms of uh, the next 20 years according to the 0304 database but yeah cristiano ronaldo is there right wing left wing behind the striker can play up front yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo is there. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is listed as a right winger or centre forward in this one. Finishing 20, composure 20. I've got a feeling he's going to start more games than we think. 
to be honest. I think he's a really, really, really good striker in this game. Uh, it depends what formation we go with. I'm thinking of doing a 4-4-1-1 because that's what Man United sort of lined up the most when Ruud van Nistelrooy was in their squad. Um, and we had Solskjaer and Fall and a sort of backup strikers to Ronaldo, uh, to Rude, and uh, Paul Scholes sat behind him. Then you'd have Keane and Butt, or Keane and Clebson, or Clean and Jemba Jemba in behind, and then the back four: Giggs on the left and um, Cristiano Ronaldo on the right. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then into the strikers, then Diego Forlan. Um, he made the Scousers cry. Again, not the best attributes, but I just love the guy. Like, absolute love. He's got two negatives. What's he? He's pleased to be in the dressing room co core social group, but recognises he has a little presence within it. Oh. He has no strong feelings about the squad support for the manager. That's nice of him, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Diego Forlan, like, ah, oh, yeah, he's going to get some game time. It's going to be fun. It's just going to be so much fun, this save. Going back to 03, 04, it's just great fun. And then Rude, the goal machine... Van Nistelrooy. Again, I know he's got 19 finishing and 16 composure. Again, I feel that's a little bit doing him dirty, right? You can argue he was as, as good a finisher in one-on-one -on -one situations as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, so I think it should be 20 and 20. But don't take my bias of view, of view of it. Just because I named my dog after Rude Van Nistelrooy, don't, don't listen to me. You know, I don't know what I'm on about. But that is the Man United squad. It's also very thin on the ground. There isn't much room in terms of injuries. We'll be calling up some of the, uh, the young guns to come and play. But, I mean... Just diving into this database is just so much fun. Let's get like look at Arsenal. You go into the Arsenal squad. Obviously, they've still got like Thierry Henry, absolutely ridiculous. Again, another one. Composure sixteen. I think that should be twenty and twenty. To be honest, or nineteen and nineteen. He was phenomenal, right? But Thierry Henry, who interestingly his contract is expiring. So I'm thinking if they don't act quickly enough with that, we're gonna just see if he drags it out, and then we're gonna try. And, uh, and poach him. Obviously, this was the season, I think, 03 04 was the season that Arsenal went unbeaten in the league, which is very interesting. Uh, Kanu still there, 26 years old. First touch was incredible. Balance was incredible. Lacking a bit of pace, but a bit more of your sort of target man build alongside Thierry Henry. Dennis Bergkamp, oh my word, at 34 years old, still knocking around in the Premier League. But look at those attributes. First touch, 19. Decisions, 19. Passing, 18. Technique, 19 absolutely ridiculous what a player he was Dennis Berkow. and then Patrick Vieira like the battle with Roy Keane in the center of midfield aggression 20 they're very similar actually Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira in the game it's just I've got such a smile on my face going through his mad dog Jens Lehmann in goal like uh look at him he even looks like he's smirking like he's evil Jens Lehmann absolutely brilliant. Martin Keown Sol Campbell is there as well an absolute beast at the back Sol Campbell what a what a team this was and then as i said like you've got man city before the money really before the big money came in like if we go and have a look at their squad sean Wright phillips is still there hasn't got his move to chelsea yet uh darren huckabee paolo one chop is there i mean look at this strike force one chop fowler macken and nicholas anelka only 24 years old Nicholas Anelka, uh, Man City, already done, PSG, Arsenal, Real Madrid, PSG, Man City for £12 million with a loan in there to Liverpool as well. I mean, I'm going to give him a scout and see Nick, see what Nicholas Anelka's about. Ayl Berkovic, that's a name I've not thought of in ages. Ayl Berkovic, transfer listed at Man City. Joey Barton there is a youngster, 20 years old. We all know what sort of a knob he grows up into though. Richard Dunn, David Seaman is there. So, no, it can't have been Arsenal's unbeaten run because David Seaman was their goalkeeper wasn't he when they won the league unbeaten but yeah David Seaman is there 39 years old at Man City bloom here now uh, Nicky Weaver is back up Robbie Fowler must have been old as well 20 only 28 only 28 when he was at Man City wow so Liverpool sold him when he was 26 27 wow bloody hell Steve McManaman's there as well Oh my God, what a, what a weird, weird time this is. What a weird, weird time. I mean, Newcastle, is Alan, Alan Shearer still knocking about? Oh my word, Alan Shearer, at 32 years old, still he's going to be banging in some goals this season. Hugo Viana, another name I've not thought of in a long, long time. Hugo Viana, Oliver Bernard, Clarence Acuna, Kieran Dyer. 
a very young, a 24-year-old, well, not very young, but a 24-year-old Kieran Dyer looking mighty fine there. Titus Bramble at the back, concentration 6-8. to eight. That's what you love to see. 21-year-old Titus Bramble at the back. Nikos Dabizas is there as well. Nikos Dabizas, unbelievable. Jonathan Woodgate is there. Was this post? No, this is, yeah, pre-Real Madrid, isn't it? Jonathan Woodgate here. Unbelievable stuff with this database. Obviously, the finances have been sort of adjusted because FM22, the clubs would have so much money. Uh, so the likes of Craig Bellamy, you'll see here, 125 grand a week just because that's sort of how they've equated it when they've done the database. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, really interesting to see how this plays out. I mean, let's have a quick look at Liverpool as one of the sort of rivals. Key player is Michael Owen up front, and there he is. I mean, finishing 19, composure 17, all about the pace. Hopefully he is susceptible to injuries, but at 23 years old, value 243 million to 291 million pounds. Again, he's going to be banging in loads of goals. Milan Barosh. I was a big fan of Milan Barosh. Looking uh, looking pretty old for a 21-year-old there, Milan. But uh, again, a good finisher. But I don't think he's going to get much game time with Heskey. Oh, Heskey. Emil Heskey. Oh, what an absolute beast. He, literally a beast. He wasn't very good in front of goal. But in terms of winning flick-ons and stuff, Schmitzer, Harry Kuehl, Danny Murphy, Latalak, Sheru, Dimitri Dam, Steven Gerrard at 23 years old. Oh, my word. This is incredible. Jamie Carragher, 25 years old. Oh, my word. Igor Bishkan, Stephen and Sammy Hippia, Jimmy Traore. Like Jimmy Traore. Oh, was, bless him. Marcus Babel out on loan. Stefan Honshow, Dudek and Kirkland. So, this was the era of Hippia and Honshow, which means Jamie Carragher would have been more like a right back. John Arnarisa. Oh, man, what a shot he had on him And back in the day. Absolutely unbelievable. What a database. And it's not just here either. If we go and look at Juventus, uh, there they are, Juventus. What a squad they've got, by the way. What a squad. Buffon, Churam, Pesotto, Zambrotta, Giaconardi, Edgar Davids, Antonio Conte is still there. Nedved, Del Piero, Trezeguet, Mikuli. It's just un Del Piero. Look at that. Look at the... That is obscene. Those stats are obscene like absolutely obscene for alessandro del piero 28 years old pavel nedved i think he came like third in ballon d'or this year uh so yeah really really good only 49 to 74 million though let's give him a scout um yeah edgar davids as well i mean it's just bonkers this juventus team absolutely bonkers lillian churam like 31 years old absolutely superb uh buffon as well Back here, look at that 25-year-old Buffon. Look how good he is. Look how good he is. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then, obviously, we can't go too far without going to Barcelona in this first little intro. Because, again, this team is just obscene. Victor Valdez in goal. A 21-year-old Victor Valdez. Probably playing back up to Roberto Bonanno, if I remember correctly. 33-year-old Roberto Bonanno. But then you've got, yeah, Carlos Puyol. Like 25, absolutely insane. What a player he was. Uh, Philippe Koku, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, a young Javi, 23-year-old Javi in there as well. Luis Enrique, Ronaldinho. Oh, my word. Ronaldinho at uh, Barcelona. Let's give him a scout. Why not? Let's give... Let's, why not? We're going to be spending so much money bringing these players in. Javier Saviola is there as well dribbling 20 finishing 18 at first touch 19 lots of pace loads of agility and pace oh my word this is just i love it i love it juan rome riquelme out on loan at villarreal oh my word this is insane what a save this is what a save this is going to be it's going to be full of nostalgia it's going to be absolutely amazing they've got rebecca rusto was he first choice he may have been first choice Rusty may have been first choice for Barcelona at this time. And then, of course, you have Real Madrid. The absolute Galacticos of Real Madrid. Ica Casillas in goal. 22 years old. Absolute beast of a goalkeeper. Then you've got Roberto Carlos at left back. I mean, free kick taking 20. He has dined out of that, that Euro uh, or France 98 goal for so long. Because... Every time I saw him take a free kick after that, it just went straight over the bar. Like, straight over the bar. But an unbelievable player at left back. I know you all want to go and see R9. We'll get to him in a minute. David Beckham, 
Like, literally just moved from us 24 and a half million pounds. It looks like a bargain, doesn't it, when you look at value, 96 million. But he's unbelievable as well. Like, really, really good there. Uh, Gooty. You got Gooty in here. Like, ridiculous. Who's he wanted by? Liverpool. Liverpool want Gooty. Interesting. Luis Figo. Luis Figo. Look at that. Corners 20, crossing 20, dribbling 20, long shots 18. It's just so much fun seeing these players, like, in their peak. In Football Manager 2022, Zinedine Zidane, 31 years old, absolutely ludicrously good. Ludicrously good. Really good. Raul is here as well. Raul, who, at 26, absolutely phenomenal. Again, R9 is here at 26 years old, and he looks ridiculously good. Like, ridiculously good. Again, how he doesn't have finishing 20, composure 20, I just do not know. I do not know. And then up front, Fernando Morientes is the target man sort of option. Yeah, really, really good Morientes there. It goes on to have a spell at Liverpool in real life, didn't he, Fernando Morientes? But it's amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing. And the other team I wanted to show you was AC Milan. Because AC Milan, in this era, were just incredible. You had a goalkeeper of Dida. Brazilian number one, AC Milan number one, phenomenal goalkeeper. Uh, Dario Simic at the back, the Croatian, absolute hard as nails, really, really good. Alessandro Nesta was there, 27-year-old Nesta. Maldini, 35-year-old Maldini, but still looking incredible. Just don't ask him to run very quickly. Cafu at like 33, yeah, 33, 32, 33, I was going to say. Like, still looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Roque Jr. couldn't even make the team out on loan at Leeds. I remember that, yeah, when he had his little loan spell at Leeds. And then you get into the midfield. Clarence Seedorf is still there, 27 years old, looks incredible. Andrea Pirlo is there, 24 years old, looks absolutely incredible. Um, Gantuso, Gennaro Gattuso, 25 years old. Looks really, really good. Looks to give me a fanatic. Kaka is there. Absolutely insane. I mean, let's get a scout report on him as well. Absolutely insane. Kaka, 21-year-old Kaka, who's just arrived. Rivaldo was there. Like, it's just, it's just non -stop. You don't, it's weird, isn't it? It doesn't feel like, it's, it's obviously I'm looking on this with nostalgic rose-tinted glasses, but so many world-class players that you would call world-class played in this era. Whereas now, it's sort of a little bit... I think there's a dearth of world-class players. Inzaghi, up front, absolutely incredible at 29 years old. Shevchenko, before Chelsea have got their hands on him, 26 years old, ridiculously good. Absolutely ridiculously good. Jean Dahl Thomason was even really good at this point. This was post a uh, pre-Newcastle, I think. Right, post-Newcastle. And... Yeah, really good striker. And then Marco Bodiello, who was just always forgotten about because of the other strikers that AC Milan had. But what a team. What a team that was. I mean, Alessandro costa Curta is still there. 37-year-old Alessandro costa Curta. Wow. Wowzers. It's just... It's going to be so much fun. I've had about 20 minutes of just talking through old players. Get your names in the comments below. Who do you want me to go and look at? Who do you think we should sign? Where should we strengthen this Man United 03-04 squad? Um, I'm going to go off and try and do some transfers. And we will hopefully be back tomorrow with another episode updating. Maybe some point just in pre-season we'll just come back so I can look at some of the players you've recommended and go through it. Uh, in terms of that or I might do another episode right now and we'll come back at the end of preseason and look at the players you looked at which will be in like two episodes time I don't know how to play this I, I don't know how to do this series it's just going to be bloody good fun bloody good fun is how this series is going to be and I cannot wait if there's clubs you want me to look at players you want me to look at staff members you want me to look at anything like that just get it in the comment section below and it's uh it's going to be cracking fun it's going to be absolutely brilliant Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one back in 2003, 2004. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.